is Little Funfetti. Welcome back to my age regression channel. If you saw in the beginning of this video, there is an awesome title card that I have for all of my videos. I commissioned this from the lovely Bunny Fluff off Tumblr. They're a good friend of mine and I really recommend checking out their blog. I'll link it in the description down below. Without further ado, let's get in. Today we're going to be talking about something that I'm super excited to talk about. is the stuff that makes me feel small. This is going to be a very rambling, kind of like drony sort of video, so like, get ready for me to be very tiny and ramble about everything. And I kind of want this to turn into a discussion of what makes you guys feel small. Like, put in the comments below, like, what are some of your favorite age regression activities, what immediately makes you kind of sink into that headspace. And for me personally, I'm just going to talk about like certain toys and certain activities, and kind of like stuff that a lot of people don't talk about, which is like those really specific kind of strange things that make us feel tiny. If you guys have been watching my channel for a minute or at least seen a couple of my videos, you guys always know that in every single video I am holding a stuffy of some sort. This is Streamers. He's a handmade clown. I got him from Goodwill for like $2 and I absolutely love him. Stuffies make me feel incredibly small. Um, I've always been like a big stuffed animal person. Like even before I even knew I was an age regressor, I was like in middle school, I'm like, Pfft, everybody owns stuffed animals. And then I'm like, but they make me really happy. So like, let's look into that and see what that, that's all about. But um, even when I was a bio kid, like I was just like super, super into stuffed animals. Like I had like a massive like bin of them. I had them on my bed. I had them tucked in the crook between my bed and my wall. Like I had them everywhere. Like. And there's so many different opportunities you can do with stuffed animals, like, you can take them on an adventure, you can have a tea party, you can play games with them. Like, I grew up very, very, very isolated as a child, so like, I would play Pokemon cards with like my stuffed animals. I'd play poker with my stuffies for some reason. <laughs> my dad taught me how to play poker when I was like six. So like, I would play like blackjack and stuff with my stuffed animals. Weirdly enough, I don't remember how to play it now, but back then I could actually play blackjack to the best of my recollection. Um, there's just a lot of like imagination that goes into it and like they're very soft, they're a big comfort item. I get overstimmed, they're really great for that. I take one with me in my purse almost every single day because like I get really nervous a lot in public, like I don't do well in public. And like, I don't necessarily hold it, but like, I have my hands in the purse, I'm like, I'm just gonna hold on to that and be like, you know, calm. And overall, they're just great. Like, I absolutely love stuffed animals, and that's like an immediate age regression trigger for me. Now, this is a toy line I really haven't seen anybody talk about in the age regression community. Like, I don't hear people talk about Shopkins in general in the age regression community. However, I have had this undying love for Shopkins since like high school. And recently, they released these Shopkins Little Secrets houses, and they vary from stores to bakeries to like, you know, vet, you know, veterinary offices, all sorts of really cool stuff. And they're kind of like Polly Pockets, but they're way better than the re-release version of these. And essentially, they're a little house on the outside, but on the inside, they fold out to big old play sets. So like, this one's like a cat cafe, so you have like a little boardwalk for cats, you have like a little cat that moves around right here, with like a little peg underneath there. I'll be posting pictures of this one in particular on my Tumblr at some point soon today. But yeah, they just fold out these big old play sets and they have like a lot of like interactivity in them. They're very cute. And the way you access those like levels, you use a key. And like the key can kind of be flimsy sometimes, but most of the time I found that it works like really nicely. And they fold up really quickly too, because now it's a little store. I absolutely love these things and they're very portable so like if I'm going somewhere or going on a trip and I need something to keep me small, that's a great way to do it. And aesthetically speaking, they really hit my age regression aesthetic really well. I really really like them and they're only like 10 bucks. Unfortunately, I think there's like a shortage of them because like every single website I've been checking locally and stores locally, they'll have like one in stock that I already own and then people are scalping on eBay. So like not very cash money but if you're able to find them would highly 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 recommend getting them another toy that's been making me feel super small lately they are called my little pony cutie crew and they have been out for about two years now but i just recently discovered them and oh my god they're essentially very deformed little plastic figures of ponies they're very different than the uh, blind bag ones 
Because the blind bag ones are kind of in the, sh the show style, but you can tell there's some like differences with Pinkie Pie's appearance figure-wise versus the show. But these are essentially like chibi figures. I got this from the Macaron scent. This is a set. This is a minty. She comes in a little Macaron stand. And every single one of these figures comes with a little cute stand. And it could be like a food item, it could be a chair, a pair of sunglasses, anything. And they're very cheap. They're only like $3. And for blind bag standards, this is really nice. Because I feel like blind bags have been like going up in price recently, but like staying in a very mm, quality. So this is a great like medium for it. It's cheap and it's cute. And I love these things. Once again, they're kind of getting sold out everywhere, but this Macron set just came out, and you should be able to find it at Target. If you like My Little Pony and you age regress maybe ages like 3 to 5, this is perfect for you. I'm pretty sure I already mentioned this in a previous video, but the act of like putting a DVD into a DVD player, dimming the lights, and like eating popcorn with M&Ms, that is like top tier small space. Like... Chef kiss, mwah, 10 out of 10. Because, I don't know, DVDs are something I don't use unless I'm regressing, because, like, I have vivid memories of having, like, a Hello Kitty CRT TV, and, like, putting in Barbie Swan Princess, and, like, watching that as a kid. But, like, I broke the CRT because <laughs> I put quarters in the DVD slot. But, like, at the time, before I broke my TV, it was pretty cool. And, like, I remember, you know, being able to choose the DVD we watched tonight was like a big deal for me as a kid. So like now that I have my own DVD player and a selection of age regression movies, it's been really fun and it's a very immediate trigger for me to be small. And like, I understand that like watching stuff on a streaming service like Doc McStuffins or Community or something, like that's a lot of fun, but like, it's a small act of like having a movie night and like putting a physical DVD or VC v VHS tape to a v VCR. That's just like, it makes all the difference. It's so nice. When your baby's tiny, I love coloring. I think most age rushers can agree that like coloring is a very like calming and relaxing and a great thing. And as somebody who's also an artist outside of their age regression space, I have a tendency to get art blocks for like months on end and it kind of stagnates my art skills. But like coloring scratches that creative itch the same way. But like when I'm small, so like I'm not as worried about like, oh, this doesn't look right. I'm not shading. I'm not in the lines. Because like as an artist as an adult, I really struggle staying in my own line work because I have really poor hand-eye coordination. Um, but when I'm small and I'm coloring, it's just like whatever. I'm gonna put stickers on them. Boom. Like there's just such a lack of like restriction and sta I mean, you know, not standard, but like it doesn't have to look perfect. If it doesn't look perfect, it looks even better. And it's just a great way for me to let loose, and that's just something that me that makes me go like, wow, I'm small. Like, even when I'm big, I like coloring. I just, I love the act of it. And, like, crayons also just have, like, a great smell of them, so, like, they're just a great sensory experience. Even if you're not an age dresser and you're watching this, I would really recommend picking up a coloring book, because it's so alleviating and so fun to do. The last thing I'm going to talk about that makes me feel super small actually involves my CG because I didn't realize this is a thing until I did it and it felt great. Story time. I was over on the coast seeing my boyfriend who's also my caregiver now and we were in the store that mainly sells like a bunch of really cute stuffed animals and manga and anime stuff and the sweetheart gave me a gift certificate there. He's like, I didn't know which one you wanted so... Let's go in there and take a peek -see. And, like, I had this really wonderful experience of, like, picking out a stuffed animal with my CG. And, like, I didn't even realize that I was regressed, but I was. Because, like, I was like, oh my god, this stuff is blah, 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 blah. Because I'm very self-conscious about my regression when it comes out in public. Because I get really embarrassed of it really quickly. Even though there's nothing to be embarrassed of, I just get really self-conscious. Because I get very anxious in public. But, like... He was so reassuring and kind. It was just like very in the moment. It's like, oh, do you want this one? This one has wings. Check it out. This one's really cute and sparkly. And like we went through this process of just like picking something like that together. And I found this Hello Kitty fairy plushie. And currently it's on my shelf. And I don't want to take it down because it's going to cause like a mountain of stuffed animals to fall. But I found this Hello Kitty plushie. And you guys have seen it on my blog. It has like iridescent fairy wings and a little tutu. And we're together. He's like, oh, this is the one. And, like, he walked me up to the counter, 
and I paid for it. He's like, oh, that's all they're getting. Like, he very much carried the conversation for me while I was small. And <laughs> my heart just, like, soared. Like, I was just like, okay, this is the best thing on the planet. In short, what I'm trying to say is, like, doing very small, simple things. Like, picking out a stuffed animal with your CG. And, like, having those small little experiences together. That makes me feel smaller than anything. Cause like, I've never had the experience of having a caregiver until very recently. And a caregiver isn't necessary for regression, but like, I noticed my regression has a tendency to be a lot less impure when I have a regressor, if that makes sense. Or, not a regressor. When I have a caregiver, if that makes any sense. So, to close out this clip, hanging out with my caregiver makes me feel incredibly small. That is it for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it once again. Let me know what are some cool little things that make you feel tiny in the comments down below. And if you'd like, give me some video suggestions. Who knows? I might do them. Who knows? But um, I will see you guys in the next video. Feel free to check out my blog in the description down below. And I'll see you next time.